Hello everybody, and this video is going to be a little different because as you can see, I'm in the dirty garage. So, before we get started on the normal video that we're going to do, it's going to be short, but let's just check out something that's going to go on the wall in my room. That's going to be the new background. Dun, dun, dun. This is a big dino mural, so we got a little albertosaurus or something there. Run it off. I got this Corythosaurus lying down, Edmontonia, um, I think that's an Anchiceratops or something, big Alamosaurus or something, a Para, and a T-Rex. For some reason, the herbivores are not minding the carnivores, and the carnivores aren't minding the herbivores. But anyway, the normal video. Can I just note that this is a very dirty garage? And this is a um, diorama that I've been working on, or have worked on a tiny bit, but we had a little clay. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. We had a little clay. I can say we had a tape incident, so I stopped doing it, but here it is the diorama. Or Dino-rama, I should say. Hold on, the light fell off. Anyway, here it is. So you can see there's a little paleontop just there, which came with the Ceratosaurus that I reviewed a couple videos ago. And there he is. And he's found some bones. So we found this in that toy bin that has the barn. That one. And so we put it in there for some reason, probably because this is in the very cold garage. I am freezing my knees off right now. It's wet, but you can see um, for that really textured dirt, I used this dino dirt from that thing, which was a big egg that comes with the big zombie skeleton dinosaur thing. Yeah, um, so um, that's what we use for the dirt. So you can see there's some ribs and a hip sticking out. That was from a dinosaur puzzle. And you can see there, there's a little um, clip. You know one of those bone things that you put in the mold, you pour that mix into? It's one of those little dinosaur legs sticking out. Yeah, that's this guy. And we haven't done it yet, and we're probably not going to because now the clay is dry. But we were going to put some pieces of smashed up geodes in there, like this one that has not been smashed up. We're going to put some smashed up geodes, like this guy, like this piece. Uh, can you see the geodes in there? Uh, there aren't really any in that piece. He's a caller now. Um, but we we're gonna do that as rocks. Like, we're gonna have the geode crystal part sticking down. I'm sorry for all these bad angles. Anyway, so you can see here we used layers from the other clay that also kind of elevates it. So we got magma that's for some reason pink. If it'll focus. Then we got some, a layer of dirt, and water, with a little green, and there's, um, then the sand and dirt. It's up here. Now, you could also make a, um, yeah, that, a volcano. And this actually came with a few little dinosaurs, like this guy that actually glow in the dark. So if I can find something to put this under. Okay, watch this. Um, I'll set it on the train table. So you see it there. Oh, okay, all done. Just a second, guys. If I block out the light. Okay, for some reason, why isn't it glowing? All right, but anyway, you get the point. It glows in the dark. Um, yeah, that's it.
that's us this and soon you will see be seeing videos that have this in the background and i'll show you where that's going to go in my room <laughs> So, this wall right here, so there's the remains of my last video, um, and there's what I was standing the camera on. It's going to go on this wall right here. So, I used to um, always record videos against this wall up here on my bunk bed, um, but now I'm going to be recording down here. Now, so let me just give you a tour of my room. So, there's the cluttered closet. There's my shelf with the person. This is the dinosaur shelf. That's the bookshelf. That's the other stuff shelf with the compy. That. Actually, this is the Struthiomimus that Bruce went with. That guy. And this is the animal shelf. And the Ceratosaurus and that guy fell. <laughs> um, there's a plant, a space thing that I put together with stickers, um, a big T-Rex head that lights up red out of its mouth, um, that's a cool looking little, um, thing, ring, whatever it's called, around the light switch, um, there's the globe of America, there's that thing, the smoke alarm, there's a vent, there's a vent, there's a lot. There's a big bunk be bed. There's a TV stand. There's a bunch of movies. Hopefully I don't get um, copy written for this. By the way, I don't watch that. I don't watch that. Um, yeah. And then we got that little space where I can put some stuff. This... Let me just show you the progress from my painting skills. I went from, this was when I was like three and four. So this is a big black sauropod. I was going to make it a T-Rex, but I, accident let I accidentally made the neck too long. So then I made it a sauropod. And then we got a black dot for a tar pit. Some red splotches for lava, a river, and a lake. I gotta say, the river and the lake are in quite a good shape. Same thing with the that. And you could actually, I, I just noticed this, my dad probably did that, but those big green things are probably actually pine trees. Um, that's probably more tar something that black and that and maybe that screen I'm slightly colorblind and this is what under the bed looks like and here's a view of the room from up here also on the door I don't know what they're watching in there No, I don't know what that is. So on the door, because this hallway is shaped like this. There's a dinosaur crossing sign. And behind this is this. So we got Brock the Brachiosaurus. And these are all toys. At my grandparents, I have horns and sliver the t-rex there's also t-don the pteranodon attila the ankylosaurus i think that's how you pronounce it ton the stegosaurus and span the spinosaurus and then brock the bracky and we actually used to have the app for i'm sorry we used to have the app for um this where you could switch it from the robot toy version or the actual dinosaur and it was all in a desert environment so kind of looked 
weird that Sonic Saurus explanation for his name, Blue Spikes Sonic Saurus.